When they go back to get them, the column's already on the move. At sunrise, the mist clears, exposing the oncoming British force, rocket fire lighting their way. Jackson calls to his men. They are near enough now, gentlemen. You may fire when ready. A Kentucky rifleman remembers how his fellow defenders responded to old Hickory's orders. Steady, boys. Hold your fire. Take aim! And the heavy iron cannon and some thousands of small arms joined in and made the ground shake under our feet. As soon as the firing began, Captain Patterson came running along. He shouted, shoot low, boys, shoot low, break them. These Americans, instead of fleeing, stood there and decimated the British line. One cannon blast, they said, knocked out 100 British soldiers. And the Americans fired right into the faces of these men. It was like roaring hell, said one commentator. Confusion in the British ranks spreads among one column led by General John Gibbs. Instead of rushing the Americans head on, they pause to return fire, including the 44th Regiment. It is a fatal mistake witnessed by a British officer. Fire! Instantly, the whole American line, from the swamp to the point past its center, was ablaze. In less time than one could write it, the 44th foot was literally swept from the face of the earth. Gibbs's column continues its advance. Soldiers scramble into the ditch in front of the American line, but without extra ladders, they cannot scale the rampart and become easy targets for Americans pouring fire directly into the column. Panic breaks out and erupts into widespread chaos. Gibbs rides forward to rally his wavering men, but gets caught in the deadly fire and falls from his horse mortally wounded. Soon after, General Keene also goes down. As the British command begins to crumble, Jackson exudes a calm confidence, observing the battle near the center of the American line. But while the center and the left hold strong, the right remains vulnerable. British troops, led by Colonel Robert Rennie, manage to storm the rampart. Bayonets clash and gunshots fire at point-blank range in hand-to-hand -hand fighting. At this crucial point in the battle, the British have their best chance to break through the American line. But without reinforcements, Rennie is a dead man as soon as he begins his charge. <laughs> 